Welcome to a new game of mine. Um, I am black, that's why I shall begin. And let's see what happens. Let's say have fun. And shall we do again a little cross for Seiki? Then I think I'd go this way maybe to enclose first. Let's do a cross for Seiki again. I'll go this way and take my ex uh, enclosure and make this side smaller. Alright, he takes an extension which again is not a prepensor. This move still valid. Um, but I want to take uh, a nice double wing away from my opponent. That is why I play on the top side, which to me appears a little bigger. That's why I play here. Now this move becomes easier. Alright. Uh, invasions still uh, possible. But uh, why invade? No reason uh, since the right side is really large. One of those moves. Mm, if I approach, um, then it's if I approach and my opponent pincers me, then I have no problem jumping out and counter pincering him. If he just goes into the corner, I um, uh, the last game it looked uh, nearly similar. I didn't start a framework. Let's try start a framework this game. See uh, how this change um, affects the game. Alright, he pincers, but he pincers loosely. Now my jumping out and counter taking is not that uh, strong on this stone. Um, still, this is a pincer. Uh, that is why, cross for Seiki, I will take points. Now, if he blocks this way, then I get a nice amount of uh, points, give him uh, some influence, and also give him Sente. This move on the third line, I'm not too concerned. I, uh, As white, I would have played here. Just a, a nice uh, stabilization of this whole uh, uh, influence idea. Uh, so if as white I would play here, maybe it's nice for black to play there. Mm, it's most certainly a very large move, I guess. Uh, his move is quite strong, uh, taking the RG away, but um, since this stone is very far, taking the RG from this stone is nice. Um, so I will take uh, this move. Now the corner is still uh, invadable. Uh, he starts to build up, and um, now he needs another move here, but this will be Gote. Uh, you know, I still can uh, 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 make this uh, flat and low. So, uh, this influence move, um, I don't know where it leads. Gives me points, certainly. Alright, he approaches my Shimari. Now, um, what do I do now? If he takes another uh, move on this side, it will be really hard to come in. So maybe I will come in now, he will take his corner, I will take my extension along the side, he will kick, I will jump, and then he will have this influence to fight me and try to build up here. I, I like this uh, fighting idea, so um, I'm playing here. Coming in into his framework. If he lets me live and creates a wall here, then he can invade. But then I will take my points and run with the stone. Um, seems a nice future. So, oh, 
he pushes me into his corner again. Alright, I will go into his corner. Or with this stone, maybe... <laughs> Uh, this is not a Joseki anymore, let's see what he does. Uh, I need some reading now. I uh, was going on my Joseki knowledge, but with this move, suddenly uh, it turns into a letter which goes... Yes, the letter goes to... The letter goes to here. So, if I play here, he will uh, maybe catch the stone. Or... I also could give him uh, a uh, Ponuki by playing here and a living shape in the corner. Uh, all I wanted is to invade. This would be a successful invasion. I would have given him the outside, like I said. So, let's do this. Let's give him the... Alright, now I have this forcing move too. More forcing moves for me. I thought you'd catch. Uh, now he catches and I will defend in some way. Now if I connect, then there is this cut on the top which renders my group eyeless. If I connect here, also I could connect here as well, uh, starting some eye shape, yes. I wanted to invade, uh, you see this was a success, I successfully invaded and I will take this forcing move away. Alright, is this a forcing move? He catches, I protect. He plays here, I go into the corner. He harness. Yes, this is a forcing move, but this forcing move can be answered uh, on the other side. Uh, Alright, he catches. Now, do I defend? Defending seems small because I'm already connected to the outside. And I don't see any reason right now to uh, take the small move. I rather lean on uh, his influence. This forcing move is really large. If white plays here and flatter uh, makes my group flat, I wouldn't like that. Now he can catch uh, the stone. I've got a nice. Uh, those two nice stones. Alright, and I will create a nice uh, area on the other side. Um, so what do I do now? Yeah, I just extend. He will uh, also extend. And he really doesn't want me to get <laughs> all of those points. Alright. Um, now ideas. Um, if I get this stone, it's a letter which goes to <laughs> here again. Um, if I... This is not a forcing move, so with with my very first move I can stare, uh, start harassing the stone. If I play here, though, he has a nice uh, attachment. Um, I like to uh, get rid of this running direction for the stone, since the corner is still open. Now it's nearly closed, and this stone has to run away uh, to the middle. If he now doesn't run, I will cap him and uh, profit this way. Okay, I will cap him and profit this way. Now he has uh, no running directions. He attaches to me. Alright, then I will uh, 
funny again. So is he thinking about sacrificing the stone now? Alright, if I play here, then this is not a ladder, so those stones are gone. Yes, I play here, which strengthens my uh, top right corner. Uh, I think he will force me to capture the two stones, alright. Uh, but now I capture more stones. Mm, I don't see... Uh, Um, you know, I take... Mm, I defend. How uh, do those stones live? I wonder. Mm. So let's see now, if I play here, then he just... Um, walks out. If I play here though, he cuts, but then it's Atari. He Atar. Alright. I will uh, keep him in. I'm getting an, uh, some nice influence on the outside. And this stone... So, if I play here, he catches my stone. I will play here. All right. So now I have to connect in some way. This way. Leaves some nasty RG or does it? So if I drop down and he cuts. I will have to connect my stones. I think I just uh, drop down. This is not an eye. This is an eye and goatee. This is an eye and goatee. Or is it? No, I think that's uh, not even an eye and goatee. Ah, difficult for white. I mean, now he really needs to cut me off here and try to kill my corner. Uh, this would strengthen the corner. And no, it's not an eye. He needs a move here and a move here. Can't get both at the same time. And this I can take away again. Uh, so let's see, if I just connect, then he makes this eye. Um, I can't just connect, I have to take this eye away, I think, or he will live. I will defend. Does he cut now? I really don't know how he wants to live here. This is not an eye. This needs to move to be an eye. And... Yeah. Mm, yeah, alright. Needs to move. Or I just uh, throw stone in. Um, I can just uh, throw stone in. Uh, 
Or maybe this 019 would have been better. Alright, this stone can be cut off. I will cut it off this way. Then he plays here, I play here. And he gets uh, something on the outside. Yes, I will cut off this stone. This creates RG around R13. I think he maybe will get uh, R13. Alright. He pushes. Ah, he wants to push, then he wants to cut, uh, then he wants to Atari, so I will uh, need to drop down here. And I will need to... now he connects. Alright, if I capture the stone, he will Atari, I will defend, then he will uh, um, um, Alright, I have to give up my corner. I will give up my corner, I guess. Uh, this corner, I mean. Now, if he cuts, this will become a nasty core. So, I will have to play nice and strong and connect again. So, let's see, he cuts. Then, I create an eye. It needs one here. If he cuts and I make an eye, he makes his eye. I will play, play nice and strong and still protect. He leans on my stone. Again, if he uh, just plays here, I will need to cut him off, then he cuts, I have to Atari, and I have to, so no time um, for this, I guess this move could work. Now he will honey, yes, and I will uh, create a strong shape somehow, this way. Now I have the top right, he has the top left. The game still uh, continues. Uh, he wants uh, his moyo. Mm. Do I need to come in into his moyo though? If I cut, he will give up the two stones and get a wall. Maybe get some forcing moves first and try to attack this group? How does he answer it? This move is goatee. It's just a huge goatee move. Uh, the double honey seems nice. You know, light stones don't need them actually. Do I make my group heavy now, though? I have a double Atari, then. Do I have a direction to run? I have a double Atari, I have this disconnecting move. I think I will uh, protect. So I have here a forcing move, 
here forcing move, here a forcing, okay, he catches my first forcing move. I think my second forcing move will be some sort of leaning on his group and peeping the cut. Um, I will uh, catch the stone, creates Argy around this cut, and I will make my eye creating uh, Argy around this cut. Okay, still not an eye because he can... Uh, throw a stone in here. But now I can start thinking about leaning on groups, for example here. If this lean uh, isn't answered then uh, I can uh, disconnect him. Yes, I start leaning on strong stones. This stone is connected to a strong group so it is strong so I can lean on it. Is he thinking about this move? Maybe. Also, here is a small cut, but I have really no time to cut right now. I have to worry about my uh, invasion. Mm, yes, make nice shape. Create again. Uh, uh, peep his. Uh, PP's shape, creates a nice bamboo joint. Also creates eye shape, eye shape with uh, R9 is an idea. Lean on his connection with... Uh... Alright, now he has this move, uh, I have this move, I have this move, I have this move. I can maybe capture the stone. Can't answer here, I guess. He plays really aggressively. He wanted to take all of it away. I played nice and strong and even captured it. Had to give up my corner, though. Here he completely... Um, I don't know what this is. Here's a cut, here's a cut, here's a cut. Here's a disconnect. <laughs> what do I do out of it? Maybe, uh, first idea. I play here. He will connect. And I will disconnect him and ask, uh, how do you live? Because this is just one eye. Um, this idea may work, but also may not. That's why I won't play it, because I can't read that far now. Um, or I can catch this stone, make it two eyes by Atari here, Atari here, and make a solid... What now? Now this group is disconnected, he needs this move. He really needs this move now. My groups are now connected. What is his plan? Is his plan to get this all? I don't think so. I have... Uh, I can play here really easily. I can... Uh... Alright, I go for the disconnect. Um, maybe he wants to co me. Co. Alright. Um, can I lose anything during this go? No, I can lose one stone. I'm already connected. Nothing to lose whatsoever. So I see how deep I can uh, come into his territory. I have this peep. And then I have this uh, nice cut. Uh, yes. Now I use this code to come in into his territory and uh, then he uh, got some points over here and uh, 
as my corner. I have a really a large corner on the top right and a nice one uh, on the bottom, so let's do it. Let's play the comb. Now he gave me a disconnect for co thread. And if I protect here, it's a better shape, I guess. Oh, this will get difficult now. I will cut as a co-thread and then I will extend as a co-thread. You know, threatening to cut here and see if this cut uh, gets worse later. Uh, if I play here though, he will double Atari and I may think about I may think about this move, huh? Or I just... If I just peep it, he has a nice strong shape. And I have a move here. If I play here, he will have a Panuki here later, but I have a move here. I think I will um, create Moraji. Still fighting the coal. I mean, he can... Uh... Alright, is this a coal thread now? If I connect... He will cut. I play here. He plays there. I play here. He ataris. I play here. Uh, I think this is not a co-thread if I'm connected. So if I'm connected then he has this uh, one eye group connected to this eyeless stones. Let's see uh, if the connection uh, does us any good. I mean, he cuts now. And I will Atari from uh, Q18. He doesn't do it. He just uh, wants to throw stones away. Alright. So, now uh, playing nice and strong here is a little slow since I think it doesn't work. Um, now I can... Um, you know, this is his uh, Moyu line. If I play on this line, I'm safe. And I want to threaten uh, th those stones and this cut, so I play here. Just on his uh, Moyu line. Nothing uh, really fancy. I mean, he attaches to me, I get stronger. So, uh, what does he do? Let's read this one again. Uh, here, 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 there. Alright. He plays a uh, defense, so I have this move to reduce him this move is goatee of course but it's large for coming in and I may even cut now but then I want this peep this peep uh... If I cut, he sacrifices, and he sacrifices, I and I will get this though. Or does he? Let's see, I play there. I want to beat this to uh, have more stones in uh, his framework. 
Maybe I had to play d5 first and then p. Because now d5 is not that strong. So now I will uh, think about connecting. And he will think about cutting, yes. Does he push and cut? Uh, does this work? Sorry. Looks complicated. If I just Atari pulls down, I play here. Yes, I think uh, this works. So. so I will connect this way. I mean, now it's either capturing stones or connecting to my corner. Uh, he doesn't want me to scale this move. And it's connecting to the corner. Now my corner is strong. Can I catch those stones? I don't think. Or can I, huh? If I play here. What? I disconnect. And I play here. Then what? Tari? I think uh, this move works. Still. Peeps, uh, if I protect this way, he will uh, Atari, so I will protect this way. I mean, giving up, giving up uh, those two stones, no big deal. I wonder about the score, though. I mean, even if he gets all this, it's not—it's not, uh, not that big. I mean, he won't cut now. Definitely giving me all those forcing moves. <laughs> it's a funny shape. Two empty triangles here, one here. <coughs> Still does its job. But not a nice shape to have. I mean, I can just play this move and get all of the bottom. Alright. Because it's his senti. If he plays there, I'm doomed. <clears throat> so it's nice big senti for him. I take it away. This is a goatee move for him. Also, also big, but uh, goatee. And first we take big senti moves. Or they will be taken away from us. Those nice senti moves. Just some uh, reduction. So I still kind of want to play here to make uh, sure that I have one. I guess. <laughs> I'm. Uh, I hope that I have one. Um. Uh, I think. Um, about getting this one stone because 
Uh, it's Senti. Yeah, it seems Senti, yes. And yes. Saving this down to Senti, so I will do it. And this move is also Sente. All right. Mm, or will he Atari me first? No, I've saved some stones in Sente. Why not? Still want to play this move to be sure. All right, uh, now here's nearly no Aji anymore. I want to... Uh, I wonder, if I catch this stone, then suddenly this can't become Sente. You know what? First, I will take this uh, Aji away. Now it's never gonna haunt us. Let's do just that. It is slow, but uh, I won't have to think about that anymore. Mm. He also makes a slow move. Um, the slow move I was talking about, uh, kind of my senti there. Um... Now I will uh, reduce him a little, but where do I reduce him here a little? And here a little. Now let's not lose Sente uh, during the reduction. Uh, not uh, those stones not important. Why saving the two stones if he would have said no, not important stones, then first got a sequence for me. If I catch those stones again, goatee, two goatee moves for uh, you know those two stones, not worth it. Now uh, since this RG is away, I will take my eye in Sente. Um. I also could make some forcing moves around here, but don't see any reason now to make them. Mm. So, where do I play? I can play here, for example. Start uh, saving my core, and if he doesn't want it, he will protect, and then it's uh, wine point and sente. All right, he resigned. He saw that he has uh, not enough points. I will say thank you. And let's review the game. Uh -huh. uh, let's disconnect first. And reviewing the game. So right from the beginning, again, across Fuseki. I mean, it's uh, nice to play Fuseki, no Kobayashi, no Sanrensei, you know. Uh, uh, so I, I cl enclose this way. I also could have played this move here. And let's say he plays the same. Now we will have this, I guess. And some form of this. Um, also... Seems uh, as uh, that this can be played as well. I was more of a fan of giving him uh, some form of uh, Shimari. Uh, personally, I would play here because <coughs> Black has a stable position in the lower left. So this move will. Uh, uh, on the one hand, threaten the corner, and on the other hand, uh, this uh, d10 stone will need a base. So if he attacks, then, mm, I don't know, let's say he uh, defends somehow, 
then he will need to defense here, and my group is uh, just fine. So, a really nice uh, point to get in, I think, if my corner is strong. So, personally, I prefer... Uh, I prefer this move. Because now, if, y, uh, if black wants to extend, then uh, white has a stable corner, and... Um, yeah... It will be... Uh, it will be... Uh, uh, white doesn't need to worry about this corner, so those stones aren't doing too much. But all of those souls are cue thinking, so don't uh, listen too much, <laughs> you know. So I take the double wing away, and he makes this uh, corner enclosure. So this move still uh, possible, and I have to run really fast now. Mm, nice moil though, gives me. Uh, some uh, a second move here, but I played here, and we had the spincer. Yes, yeah, spincering is nice. I like the spincer. If he would spincer tightly, then uh, something along those lines would develop. And now I'm still creating my double wing while he has to run away. So both uh, of us are running, and those stones aren't doing much, and I have still my double wing, and we have maybe some uh, more complicated fights, but again, those stones are... Uh, now they are behind enemy lines, and he will need to take uh, care about those and those stones at the same time. So, oh, sorry. So this close pincer I wouldn't like. This pincer, on the other hand, uh, if I counterattack, this stone still has room and can run. So at least two, uh, one and a half direction can lean. So maybe two directions can attach. So nearly two and a half directions for this stone. And while this one is running, suddenly my group becomes surrounded. Alright, so <clears throat> I like the spincer and I won't play this variation, but go uh, for points. In Cross for Seiki, I like to go for points. And we had this exchange, and here I would still say um, uh, I would play uh, at R13 as uh, white. Because if black wants to connect, let black connect. And you still have uh, some strong position, I guess. And um, the uh, Q16 stone needs some uh, defense move. So it would rather go this way, maybe. And now you you can start thinking about a larger framework. Mm, yes, but he did. Uh, his move is of course also nice and understandable, taking the RG way since uh, R10 is too far away, but gives me R13 uh, and now there is still RG with the stone as you have seen. The stone still not uh, dead yet and can do stuff and the corner is uh, nearly enclosed. I still need uh, P17 at least. But the corner invasion uh, nearly gone because I get a nice wall facing my K16 stone or points. So I like this move for black really much. Uh, he starts building up. Alright, but why does he build up? Does he want to uh, make some kind of uh, 
I don't know this exchange, but name. Maybe this one. No, still, uh, it's kind of too far away in here. This exchange, but uh, now it's still too too small for white. So I don't see uh, this move helping white really much. Um, Alright, he played here. I consider this move goaty, though strong, because now it's more difficult to come in. Uh, you know, before, let's uh, give uh, Black Senti before this move was easy uh, easier because uh, d10 was uh, hadn't a base yet you know it was light it was uh, middle oriented it can connect but still uh, uh, is not strengthened I actually play here um, this move was easy that's why the corner invasion was still easy with his move uh, he's um, d7, the corner invasion, become more difficult, this move... I think this move is the same move. This move was kinda too deep, maybe already. And I made it. And he... Uh, mm, this stone is already pincered. This move is a pincering stone. So you take the corner away, you apply pressure and you start chasing. Uh, while chasing, uh, you will get your middle uh, if you want it, I guess. And if you don't want the middle, you will... Uh, uh, I think you surely will get uh, this stone at some point. And with this stone, all the top right is open for invasions. So black invades and white, get, white gets an easy start for an invasion. Black won't get points here, of course. So why um, why letting let get the corner? And this move was nice for points and for base. Uh, I made this uh, Yuzeki move, but this Yuzeki move uh, is played when f16 is not here, but now it is here. So I should consider another move, I guess. But then what do I play here? If uh, white pulls back, I have a living shape. That would be nice. If white Ataris. And... Place here. Mm, or maybe this way. Then uh, White gets the wall and maybe starts to think about the whole middle, but the middle is a hard thing to get to. Uh, yes, to get in, to get. I don't know. Um, still letting me live small and getting a wall to launch attacks. Uh, you know, get wall here and start an attack on the k16 stone now k16 needs to connect but uh, where to connect here's a wall and those here's the third line stone you know this move this oh sorry this move uh, it's a nice invasion while attacking and maybe white will build uh, some points here around this area uh, of course, this group won't make any points. So, yeah, making a wall seems a nice idea. Um, but... Uh, I play my <laughs> false uh, Joseki. And my false Joseki doesn't work because, you know, this is a letter which goes to Whitestone. I hope it goes to Whitestone. <laughs> Or else my move uh, would have been bad. Which was this one. Um, 
here uh, I will just capture, I think, because now uh, if uh, black plays here, uh, white either can threaten to capture everything with the coal, or just by connecting get uh, still. Uh, Still not sentient. Huh? I thought it uh, white could get sentient by connecting. Maybe uh, just to play call. Or is it even a call? All right. Now black needs to escape. Eyeless black group. Mm, nope. Uh, which way? Uh, this way? Uh, yes, uh, this eyeless black group uh, needs to run somewhere and see whether white can profit. Mm. So I would have caught, not uh, defended and... Uh, uh, not connected and given uh, black more forcing moves. So again, forcing move. Now uh, he captures and black makes eye shape. If black plays here on the other hand, then uh, mm, I don't know. This is still uh, yes. May maybe this can live, but uh, yeah. I still rather leave certainly than be not so sure. And I leave this way. As white, I would uh, play some disconnect move. Uh, but where? No senti moves against uh, the corner. So. I don't know where would I play as white. Maybe I would let it and start building something. White was building, so needs to continue building or attack. Uh, but the attack is uh, it's not too severe now after e18. Needs to disconnect first and then launch the attack. But after the disconnect, Black surely would need uh, to pull back first. And this move doesn't get any points. Hmm. Complicated. Um, white Ataris, but this Atari is not worth too much if Black can uh, just connect and make him stronger. Uh, now, this was just one goatee move, two goatee moves for one stone and an endgame, so five points with two goatee moves and still opening to middle game. Maybe a little bit slow. Black pushes and makes uh, some shape and yes, now we have this uh, invasion here. So if black just says, no, you won't run, white comfortably can say, all right, but then I will uh, get your corner and maybe uh, still not easy, huh? Maybe leave somehow, huh? Difficult. Or create crosscuts and uh, make crosscuts and make it difficult for black and uh, treat this stone lightly. I don't know. Can develop into anything. So first I say no running direction for you, mister. And take one running direction away. Now this stone needs to run, I think. And while this stone is running, I think first I still cap. And now he wants to connect, but I don't say, uh, I say no, you won't connect. And now I'm into his framework, so his invasion uh, uh, has given me a nice uh, invasion into his area. 
so it wasn't worth too much for him. This was uh, the plan. But he have, has seen that and thought, all right, I need, I don't need to take care of the stone and will protect this point, but then I can cap him and I can cut him off. All right, this, uh, I think here white needs to get out. Get out and get out, I guess. And then we have something like this, maybe? When he gets out, but I guess into his framework. So still not very nice, but better than dying uh, on the whole uh, top. Alright, he played this move, and I just caught, and I just protected. And this is not an eye. Uh, yeah. You see, this is not an eye. And this is not an eye. So, uh, this move was just giving me the corner. You know, just uh, take the corner and doesn't do anything else. Um, was this his move? No, this wasn't his move. His move was here. And again I say this is not an eye. And maybe I should have played here reducing one of his liberties because now... Uh, no. Here, now... Uh, this is uh, Atari. He will connect. And now I will protect me. So this 019 may have been better against this B15 move. Using one of his liberties. Mm. If I just play here, then this is too ice for him. Can't do that. Uh, Alright. So I played here. I consider on 19 better now. And yes, here this move I think doesn't work because of this Atari and this Atari and this Atari. Now my thorns are caught. Can't do that. So I have to get to G18. Uh, again, uh, I should, uh, yes, if I play here now, and if I catch, what happens? He will cut, I will need to protect. He will, uh, okay, this was my thinking, he will uh, play age 17 and I can't play h18 now, so I first need e19, g19, then h18, uh, and then still capture stones, so uh, I guess first I will need to play here, he will throw in again, and then he will play here, and then he will... Um, disconnect me. So if you disconnect me now and I will start reducing his uh, liberties then we have this situation. I can play here, I have to play here and I have to play here. I can play there. So wait a sec. Maybe it works. He throws in, I catch. He plays here, I take my eye. He doesn't play O19, but plays this move. Then, uh, sorry. Then I play here, he connects, I play here. The Atari's now, I still cannot play this H18 move. Now I will need to play here. But now this move, uh, works. Because 
Um, he will not have an eye here to kill me. He has to play here, here, and here. And this will give me time. You know, here. And here. Wait a sec. Or can he? Mm, no, he can't. Uh, now playing here is self Atari, so white dies. I could have, I think I could have uh, got all of it, but this uh, deep reading not uh, for commentary games. So I will just sacrifice. Better to sacrifice and be sure than uh, just bet all of the game on that. Mm. So I will just connect. He will catch. I will connect again because. Um, if I play uh, this, for example, and he cuts, and I play here, and he Ataris, now I can. Now we have this nasty call. I don't like this call. I don't like this call at all. So uh, I will again just connect. Um, so what now? Here I will just connect. Uh, and for him, I still uh, will play this move. Then black will cut, white will cut, and we get this. Uh, maybe, uh, wait a sec, maybe this first. Mm, but still, uh, white needs to live. Uh, yeah, needs to live. Uh, difficult for white, I don't know. I would just try to create more RG. He, uh, also tried to create more RG, but, um, I can play, uh, safe there. And this move, I don't like this move. It's a small, uh, growing move. I mean, I still have this one, and I still have some RG around here. So, and playing near thickness, uh, I don't like this move. Don't play near thickness. Uh, and I think if playing near thickness, then maybe, uh, Maybe further away, but I don't know. This is this position. Position is just too thick. <laughs> Maybe play here first and try to uh, develop more. I don't know. Difficult for white after this. Uh, I don't know how to call it, this greedy invasion. Uh, greed is often punished in Go, as you know. Uh, yeah, and I wanted to see. Uh, what can I do here? Just uh, some uh, probes and some double honeys. Mm, here I thought, all right, maybe I will just uh, you know play uh, lightly, something, uh, something uh, here maybe, or lighter here, peeping uh, the cut at the same time. And then maybe this way, and then maybe uh, this way. I mean, it's enough. It's a nice uh, reduction and uh, create some position in the center. Uh, as white, I wouldn't bother about hunting back by just saying where uh, do you want to go to. So just uh, disconnect, like with this move. Like we'll try to connect and we'll try to make some shape and we'll try to lean on stones. Difficult for black, I guess, um, still. Mm, I think needs to throw all the stones away. If, uh, if white would attack, uh, Correctly, I guess those uh, this move will die, and uh, if White wouldn't respond locally, so I wanted to see how White responds to my move, and he responded this way. So more honeys because those stones I really don't care about. I mean, uh, 
White can get those stones. But here I played. Uh, um, uh, now those stones are kind of heavy. And now White can think about attacking, but now I have a forcing move. And I have a forcing move, and I have again a lean. Mm, yeah. So White. I uh, had to capture. And finally, uh, he start, started to attack me. But now I get an eye and think about this cut. Maybe though, um, maybe though, um, white can think about surrounding, but still, still the cut looks nasty. Uh, but not too easy for black at the same time. So black needs to be really cautious. Here I will just create my eye and threatening this cut. Also can lean on this stone. So everything possible from here I start leaning. And this move I don't like it. This is um, too aggressive. If you play stronger on the other hand, then it lets white... Uh, or does it? Does it let white... Uh, uh, black live? I mean first this and then here maybe. Yes, this uh, lets my uh, black live. So, but maybe uh, if you wanted the center, let's uh, then just take uh, the center and let black live if you wanted it. Uh, but this move, maybe he wanted to sacrifice it in the first place, as we saw it. He, uh, uh, I mean, he sees no chance, but uh, now uh, those stones are getting too weak. And now we have this call. And I use call threats just to get into his territory, because it's uh, the only territory he has, like this. <laughs> this is not too small, but uh, it's the only thing, and I can just concentrate on it. Maybe here will be enough. I don't need to, too much because I really have a lot now. Um, yes, I play more forcing moves, and he plays more forcing moves, and I play here. I thought if he uh, starts uh, capturing me, then I threaten this group, and I have treat those lightly, and you know, just uh, reduce him uh, this way, and maybe connect at some point. So just some reduction, and still he uh, <laughs> he needs to capture. Uh, so I definitely will get some moves there. Uh, he thought though. Mm, how did he answer? Did he answer? Yes, he answered this way. And yes, I'm fighting the core, but then he played here. And I connected the core. Because connecting this group to those stones, not worth it. And now cutting after my protection. Um, I think it doesn't work. Um, yes. I mean now, this move, this move, and... Oh, maybe, uh, maybe there's something. Can't play here. Maybe there still is something. Alright, let's think uh, differently. Uh, let's think about...
like this move maybe. I mean, he will need to uh, protect. And this move. Now he cannot play this way. So, uh, uh, he will play this way, but then... Then uh, it can can be a co, or can it? Um, difficult. So I still had the, all those move uh, moves in my head and needed to play R17 at some point. And as white, I would most definitely see what is going on at Q17. Uh, just let my opponent give me the proof that there is nothing or get uh, some points. He played here. I really was tempted to play R17, as I said, in the game. But uh, I just want to come in. And yeah, this move is a little bit goaty. Maybe I attach. But then he can think about disconnecting. So, um, this way, I don't know, some, some, I can connect here, I can connect there, so I just play it into his Moyo, he attached, and we had this kind of thing, I think maybe first this move and then the peep. If I play the peep and then either get some shape or get some uh, connection going. First strengthen the corner. Um, yeah. I peeped and he started disconnecting me but the disconnect um, didn't work out too good. Maybe uh, if he protects now. And I say, now I will uh, connect by capturing. Uh, does the corner live? Is the question. Does uh, the corner live? I mean, uh, this way. This way the corner lives. Um, but this way, I don't know. So I need to play here and there and here. This way the corner gives some. Yeah. So, um, if white gets this move, I will need to come back and defend somehow. I think... Complicated. How do I defend? This way, but uh, then it's open. Ah, uh, the corner will be small, but... I guess it will live, uh, but this will create a life and death situation. I mean, the only choice uh, chance for uh, White to win the game, maybe. A life and death situation, but he lets me connect by playing here, and then I say, okay, I connect. Yes, as you have seen, this is a connection. He beeps and he connects, and now I have this funny shape. But I managed to get into his framework a little. I even managed to capture stones and uh, have a nice bottom. I mean, after this move, uh, I need to count, but I think the game is over now. Mm, so it's white, most definitely this move, because it is senti and uh, it gets 
It's just taking points away in Sante, huh? It's really huge. But maybe also too late. Mm, yes, then we have this goatee sequence for white. Here maybe first as white. First play here and then defend. Now black won't get this eye here. But this eye doesn't matter too much. So we have some... Yeah, finally I come back and protect. I think... Uh, uh, I think I should have done it... Earlier. I think... To be honest, I should have done it here, uh, or, or I should have done it uh, instead of this uh, um, J7 move. I kind of did it too late, but I didn't take advantage of it. My uh, luck. So he connects, and uh, we have send game, and he resigns. So thank you for watching, and see you next time.